Hi everyone, my name is Leverick and welcome to Scoop NS 2.0 tutorial. Today we will see the first 12 cases of the, this pattern, the pure peanut case. If the adjacent centers on the top. Okay, now, now we can start it. The first one is the normal case. All it's solved on this cube, except for these two corners. For this case, we start here and do this arc, big B, and we do here the sledge case, Z prime, little B prime, and we do here the hedge case, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next case, we now have the variation of the edge perm. We can see these two centers are adjacent, and these two one also, like the edge perm. For this case, we start here and do this arc: little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r prime, big b, big r, big b prime, big r, little r prime. Big R prime, little r, big r, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variation of the set perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the two swap centers are on the front side, and another two are on the back, so these two centers can be swapped. And that the other one, the two swap centers are on the laterals now. These two centers can't be swapped. So for the first one, if we, these two centers are on the front, we start here and do this arc: little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r, little r prime, big r prime, little r prime, z prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r, big b, and itself. Now I will show you another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r prime, big b, big r prime, big b prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r, and it's off. And for this one, if uh, two swap centers are on the laterals now, we start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r, x prime, y, little r prime, big r, little r, little b, little r prime, big r prime, little r, and it's off. Now I will show you again this algorithm, but a little different. So we start again here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r prime, little r, little b, little r, z, big r prime, little r prime, big r, and it's off. Now I will show you another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Big R, little R prime, big R, little R prime, big R prime, Z prime, little R prime, big R, little R, Z, big R prime, little R, and it's solved. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variation of a U perm. There, there are eight cases, and we recognize all of these cases by, by the block, which can be in the different positions. So we will start now on the, the block on the front right. And the difference between these two is that uh, this one, the, the, this center is uh, adjacent to the block. And that the other one, uh, it isn't. We can also recognize that the, this center has to go there, in the opposite side. 
So for the first one, if uh, adjacent, if the center is adjacent to to the block, we start here and do the sledge and hatch cases. So we start here doing a sledge, z prime, sledge, z prime, hatch, and it's off. Now I will show you uh, uh, another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Little R prime, big R prime, Z prime, little R prime, big R, little R, big B, big R, Z, big R, little R prime, big R prime. And it's off. Now I will show you uh, another arc for this one. So we start now here, like in the beginning, and do this, big R, little R prime, Z prime, little R prime, big R, little R, Z, little R, big R, little R prime, big R, and it's off. And for the other one, if this center isn't adjacent to the block, this center has to go there in the opposite side. We start here and do again the sledge and hatch cases. So we start here doing a hatch, Z, sledge, Z, sledge. Okay, now I will show you again the Visago ribbon but cancelling the moves. So again, we start here doing a hatch, Z, and we do here the sledge case, but cancelling the last move, little r prime, big r, little r, we cancel here the move, Z, and we do here the last three moves of the sledge case, Le big r, Z, the little B, little R prime, uh, and it's off. Now I will show you an, uh, another uh, arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Big R, little R, big R prime, Z, and we do here the hedge case. Z prime, a little r, big r, Z, little b, little r prime, and it's off. Now I will show you uh, another arc for this one, the last one. Um, so we start here and do this arc, big r prime little r, big r, little b, big r prime, little r prime, big r, little b prime, and it's off. Now we can do the next cases. In the next two cases, the block is now on the back left. And the difference between these two is that this one, these two centers are not adjacent, this center has to go there, next to the side, and that the other one, these two centers are adjacent now. This center has to go there, in the opposite side. So for the first one, if these two centers are not adjacent, this center has to go there. We start here, and we do the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a sledge, Z, hedge, Z, hedge, and it's off. Now I will show you another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Big R prime, little r, big R prime, little r prime, Z prime, little r prime, big R prime, little r, Z, little r, big R prime, and it's off. And for the last one, if these two centers are adjacent, 
this center has to go there in the opposite side we start here and do again the sledge and hedge cases so we start here doing a hedge z prime hedge z prime sledge and that's off now we'll show, show it you again this algorithm but cancelling the moves so again we start here and we do the hedge case but cancelling the last move big R little r prime big r prime we cancel here the move little r prime z prime and we do here the last three moves of the hedge case little r prime big r prime little r z prime and we do here the sledge case little r prime big r little r big r prime and it's off. Now I will show you another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. The little b, big r prime, little r, big r, little b prime, big r prime, little r prime, big R and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases the block is now on the front left. And the difference between these two is that this one, the center is adjacent to the block and that the other one it isn't. We can also recognize that the, this center has to go there in the opposite side. So for the first one, if the center is adjacent to the block, we start here and do the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a hedge um, set hedge set sledge and that's off. Now I will show you a second arc for this one. So we start here again and do this arc. Little r prime z little r big r little r prime big r prime z prime little r big r, r prime little r prime big r little r prime and it's off. Now I will show you a last arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Big R, little R, big B, big R prime, big B prime, little R prime, big R prime, little R prime, big R, little R. And it's off. And for the last one, if this center isn't adjacent to the block, this center has to go there in the opposite side. We start here and do again the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a sledge, z prime, hedge, z prime, hedge, uh, and it's off. Now we'll show you again the this arc, but cancelling the moves. So we we start again here and we do first the Sledge case, little r prime, big R, little r, big r prime, z prime, and we do here the hedge case by cancelling the last move, big r, little r prime, big r prime, we cancel here the move, little r prime, z prime, and we do here the last three moves of the hedge case, little, little r prime, big r prime, little r and it's off. Now I will show you a second arc for this one. So again we start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r prime, big b, little r, big r, little r prime, big b. And it's off. Now I will show you a last arc for this one. 
So now we start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r, z prime. We do here the sledge case. Z, little bear, bear, big r, r prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r on itself. Now we can do the last cases. Finally, the block is now on the back right in the last two cases. And the difference between these two is that this one, these two centers are not adjacent. The center has to go there, next to this side. And that the other one, the, these two centers are adjacent now. This center has to go there, in the opposite side. So for the first one, if these two centers are not adjacent, this center has to go there. We start here and do the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a hedge, z prime, sledge, z prime, sledge, and itself. Now I will show you another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r z prime, y prime, little b prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r, little b, little r prime, and itself. And for the last one, if these two centers are adjacent now, the center has to go there. We start here and do again the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a sledge. Z, sledge, Z, hedge, and itself. Now I will show you again this algorithm but cancelling the moves. So again we start here and we do the sledge case but cancelling the last move. Little r prime, big r, little r, we cancel here the move, big r. Z, and we do here the last three moves of the uh, sledge case, big R, little R, big R prime, Z, and we do here the hedge case, big R, little R prime, big R prime, little R, and it's off. Now I will show you another arc for this one. So we start now here and do this arc. Big B prime, little r, big r prime, little r prime, big B, little r, big r, little r prime in itself. Okay, and that's all to show about the pure peanut case. In the next video I will show the peanut case category 2. So there, there will be four, four patterns. And I will show the, the first 12 cases of uh, the, this one, if the adjacent center is on the front right. So, see you there. Bye.